Hi everyone, I'm Autumn with the Autumn Review and um, I had a lot of purchases this week. I have some reviews, but I, I bought a lot and I bought a lot because there are um, there were a lot of really good deals this week. I got a lot of free books and a lot of um, books that were marked down on Amazon this week, so I took advantage of that. I try to watch for deals and a blogger friend of mine um, posted um, a listing for, um, there's a page on Facebook called Epic, Epic Reads or something like that. I'm so sorry. I don't remember. But anyway, I'm following it now because they list all the weekly deals through um, book retailers for that week. And um, this week there were some really, really great books. That, had, that were marked down, so I took advantage of that because there were some that I have been wanting for a while, so I'm excited about everything that I got. I have no idea when I will be able to read all of these books, but at some point I will, and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to get started. For my books for review, I got What I Didn't Say by Carrie Taylor. I got that through NetGalley. Um, Ties That Bind by Heather Huffman. That's for a, uh, a blog tour I'll be doing in June. On Demon Wings by Karina Halley. And I am a part of that blog tour this, that's going on this week. And um, on, Demons, on Demon Wings is the, um, the most recent book in the Experiment and Terror series. And that is going to be releasing very soon. And I just started the series. I'm, I'm just about knee deep into it. And it, it is, <laughs> I'm a big baby. So um, initially, I, you know, was really nervous about reading the book. And I won't lie, I was, I'm, <laughs> they're scary. I have to read them during the day. But the writing is simply remarkable. So if you haven't, check this series out. You really should. It's, it's phenomenal. I'm completely enthralled with the story and I love Perry and Dex. They are the, um, the lead characters in the series and they crack me up. And I have to tell you, even with as scary as some of the parts are, I am finding that I am laughing at the most inappropriate times in the book because they're just... Seriously, just check it out because the writing is just, she adds just the right amount of humor to the situation. So, you know, one minute I'm, I'm laughing and the next minute I'm looking over my shoulder to see if there's somebody behind me. So um, if you're looking for something that, has, that gives you a little bit of a thrill, this is a perfect series for you. And I've heard on Demon Wings is, Fantastic. My friend Jessica at Hackaroo's Reviews read it last night and she just, she was raving about it last night. So um, I'm <laughs> looking forward to reading it during my daytime reading schedule. Um, and then I got Gifted, A Donovan Circus by Liz Long, Notes to Self by Avery Sawyer, and Alpha Moon by Rachel Deegan. And Alpha Moon is, um, I, I'm going to be doing the Caged Moon um, blog tour for, for Rachel um, next month. So Alpha Moon is a novella. It goes with that series. So I'm, I am going to review that at some point. Um, I'm not sure when, but I will be reviewing that. Now on to the books that I purchased because there are a lot. I bought Somebody to Love by Kristen Higgins, Marriage by Mistake by Alyssa Kress, The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst, Where I Belong by Gwendolyn Heasley, Kiss, Crush, Collide by Christina Meredith, Epic Fail by Claire Lezebnik, Deadly Cool by Gemma Halliday, Pitch Spin by Allison Frohripe, um, the Rockstar's Daughter by Caitlin Duffy, Love Me by Bella Andre, Cupcake by Mariah Jones, The Last Boyfriend by Nora Roberts, Sparks Fly by Katie McAllister, 
Black Dawn by Rachel Kane and Crazy on You by Rachel Gibson. And then I um, won Inhale by Kendall Gray. I won that through, um, I, think, I, don't, I think it was a blog tour for, Ken, for Inhale. Um, I won that through the, book of, the bookish faith. Andrea, my friend Andrea. So I was really excited because I never, I hardly ever win anything. I think, you know, the last time I won something was a few weeks ago. And I entered to so many giveaways. And when she emailed me and told me that I won, I was seriously very excited. I can't wait to read it too because I've heard it's very good. Um, and then I borrowed Tempting the Best Man by Jay Lynn. I borrowed that from a friend of mine. And um, that was a really short read. Uh, Jay Lynn is the pseudonym for um, Jennifer Armentrout. And Tempting the Best Man is her is an adult contemporary. So um, it was cute. I read it. It was short. So I read it real fast one night. Um, and then in the mail, I got... From Nicole Chase. I got Mortal Obligation. It's a signed copy and I'm going to be giving this away in um, a giveaway in June. She gave me some um, signed cards for Immortal Grave. That's the third book in that trilogy. She's working on it right now. And I'm actually going to be reviewing Mortal Obligation here in the next few weeks. And I started reading it the other day. I've had it for a while, and I just have been so backed up in reviews that I haven't had a chance. But um, I got to meet Nicole back in January, and she's really a total sweetheart. So I'm looking forward to reading it. I've heard good things about Mortal Obligation, so um, look for that review in the next few weeks. And then I got, um, from Jamie McGuire, I got, um, oh, can you see it? Eden. And this is from, this is the third book in her Providence series. And, um, I love Jamie McGuire. And she asked me if I would be interested in reviewing Eden. And I am, because I love writing. So she sent that to me this week. I was really excited to get it. And I also got, um, for those of you that don't know how crazy fangirl I am about Jamie McGuire, I'm telling you now that um, almost everybody that I talk to, I, I make them go read Beautiful Disaster, because it's one of my all-time favorite books by Jamie McGuire. And I've had it on my Kindle since last year and I've read it three times and I finally got it in paperback because I like to have all of my favorite books in paperback and if possible I like to have them signed and um, so I was fortunate enough to have Jamie sign my copy for me and I was so excited I got it this week and she signed it for me, and she is just very, very sweet to do that for me. And I was so excited. I was literally jumping up and down, and I, I, I wanted to read it again. I wanted to read my book again because I was just so excited. And I started leafing through it, and I just about read through the whole book the fourth time the other day when I got it just because I'm so excited. I'm such a fangirl about this book. It's ridiculous. So if you haven't read Beautiful Disaster, you're so missing out. Seriously. It's one of the best books I've ever read. I have never felt so emotional about a book. Seriously. It, it, it And I know what happens. And even when I reread it, I still get tied in knots. It is unreal. Anyway, it's amazing. So, um, had a great week this week. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of books. So, it should keep me busy throughout the summer. And I'm going to try my hardest to get all of my reviews done. Um, and hopefully, you all got some good books this week, too. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Have a good week.